hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're doing a little bit of a art as a show and tell home DIY project. So as you guys know, the day that I'm putting this up is actually Halloween. So for those folks that celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween to you. So with that said, I wanted to show you guys a cute little Halloween DIY project that will spice up any Halloween decor. Um, and what I have here is actually eight by 10 panels of mixed media wood from Arteza, which is natural birch wood. And when you pull it out of the box, because I already took all the plastic and stuff off to save time. I did a lot of things to save time. I was actually ready this time. <laughs> so when you get it out of the box here, it's just a flat panel on this side. And like an artist canvas, it does have the inside that is open where you can make something and say put like a plexiglass or a sheet of plastic or something over the top to make it kind of look like a shadow box. But we're going to actually use this side of the wood. Um, I was actually also sent, which this wasn't something that was planned, but this was also sent to me uh, by my good friend Stitcherista. She wanted me to uh, do a video for her for the paints. So I decided to kill one bird with one stone. So we're going to do two Halloween DIY projects, one with paint, one with vinyl. So let's get to it. We're going to put the vinyl and stuff off to the side or the paint and stuff off to the side. And we got our wood panel out. Now for the wood panel, what I'm doing is I am going to decorate this with a little, make a little Halloween sign. So something that you can say hang on your front door, or on your back porch. And for this project, you're gonna wanna use permanent vinyl because you want it to adhere to the canvas or you can use iron on. But for this video, we're gonna use uh, permanent vinyl and you're gonna want it to adhere to the, the wood. So you're gonna wanna make sure that whatever vinyl you use adheres to the wood. If you decided to use removable, do keep in mind that depending on the weather outside, it can or may or may come off. So what I did was I printed out a little design, which will pop up on the screen for you to show you what it is. And then what I'm going to do is, I am going to put the design on the board. So I'm trying to measure out here where exactly to put it. And we're just gonna take and mark this right about here. Just so I know where to put it. Cause this is actually gonna be a layered vinyl. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bring you down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two vinyls on the board to make a cute little DIY sign. And this takes minutes, literally, for the time it takes you to cut out vinyl if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette or a Cameo, uh, you can make this. So I'm gonna get me some uh, of this transfer tape here. And I don't need a big piece. So I'm just gonna cut it. And then because I'm layering it, you have to figure out what side goes down first, which is gonna be this orange side. So we're gonna just go ahead and put this on here. Make sure it's nice and flat. You wanna make sure it's nice and flat so it doesn't have air bubbles in your design. Get it on there nice and flat. We're gonna take our Cricut uh, straightener and just make sure it's on there. Make sure it sticks down. And it, I will teach how I will teach how I do uh, layering in another video. But for right now, just for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and just do this quick little sign with the vinyl. All right. Now that that should be on there, good. Now when you put this stuff on on transfer tape, um, you want to make sure you peel it back. You don't want to pull like you don't want to pull up. You want to peel it back. Um, just because if the design starts to come up, you can lay it back down. So it looks like it's all laying on there just fine. And we're just going to keep peeling, keep peeling. There we have it. And our design, of course, is going to look backwards. So we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put it about right here, I think. Oh, oh okay. The pumpkin's on the end. So I just want to make sure that, uh, I left enough space for the numbers and stuff. So we're gonna put that down on the board and again, we're gonna take our squeegee and that's gonna squeeze out any air bubbles between the wood and the vinyl. 
And because this is permanent vinyl, just like the vinyl decals you have on your car, you, you don't need to treat it on here. You can if you want to, but you don't need to treat it on here uh, because after a while it will uh, permanently adhere to the wood. So you can also store this away to so say for maybe next year. And then again, just like you took and put it on there, you want to peel it back just in case something decides to come up. So we're going to peel this back. We got a little piece of vinyl here that's stuck up. So we're just going to peel. And you want to go really slow just to make sure you're not pulling anything up. It's fighting me, but we got it on there. All right, so there's the first part of the design. Now for the second part. Now this part's gonna go right on top here. So what I need to do is I need to get my transfer tape and we're gonna do this piece by piece actually. So we're gonna do the bottom part first and then we'll do the happy part. So we're gonna do the 2020 down here first. And as you guys know, with everything going on in the world, I thought this was a fitting um, project to do with the pumpkins having the mask on. I'm just going to scrape the back just to make sure it's all nice and flat on there. And then again, we're going to peel, not pull. Peel. So we got the 2020 part off there. And then we're going to layer it. So I'm just going to eyeball it for this video. And this one's a little bit crooked. But that's okay. We can fix it. So we're just going to peel back real gentle. See the tooth coming up right here? So what you would do is you lay it back down and kind of put some pressure on it to get it to adhere to the wood. And there you have it. It's laid down. So we got the 2020 part on there. Now, how do you fix it if you make a mistake? First, we're going to need our tweezers, wherever they got off to. And I'm just going to use these gold ones here. And you're going to very carefully pick it up. So I'm just going to pick up a little piece of it here. And then I'm going to take the tweezers and place it down where I want it. Because it won't be permanent right away. It takes some time for it to cure to the wood. So if you do make a mistake, you can always go back and correct it. If it's a little mistake. If it's a big mistake, like a misspelled word or something, you might have to redo it. But... For something like this where it didn't line up correctly, permanent vinyl is never permanent as soon as you put it down. It does take a couple of days for it to become permanent on two items. So, so let's see here. Got to make sure that's on there. Right over his eyes. There we have it. All right. So we got that part on there. Let's get the happy part on there. And again, this is a nice, really quick, simple design that you can put onto this wood. I thought it'd be very cute to put outside my door. Um, there won't be any trick-or-treaters this year, I don't think. But just in case there is, or just people walking past the door. As you guys already know, I have my door decorated. So this little sign will just adorn my front door. But of course, if you have like a porch or something that you have pumpkins on, uh, this might be something nice to put out there. And like I said, you can seal it if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. And then we're just going to place that happy right up top here. I'm going to use a squeegee to make sure all the bubbles are out. Because you don't want any bubbles in your design. And you're going to peel it back. Make sure everything laying down nice and flat. 
And there you go. There is our really cute Happy Halloween 2020 sign. And again, you can always, always put this on your front door, front porch, what have you. Because it's permanent vinyl, it's something that will last forever. You can have your kids write their names on it as a keepsake or what have you. Or you can do a design that doesn't necessarily have the date on it so that if you want to use it again for the previous, uh, the next year, you can do it like that as well. So there is our first design with the Happy Halloween. So next we're going to go ahead and see if we can paint something with a stencil that we made. So are you ready? Have it there's your little pumpkin these are the two designs i decided to go with i tried a couple other designs but i didn't like them so these are the two designs i went with so we have the one with vinyl and then of course the one with uh this has actually card stock on it and i glued it to the orange board to make it look like a jack-o-lantern so there you go the Arteza acrylic colors and the wood panels. I really like the wood panels especially with this paint the paint doesn't get soaked up into the wood real easily and it actually coated it very well a lot better than I thought so I'm actually I actually have another project now going on with the paint so yeah but with that said folks thank you guys so much for being here I really appreciate it don't mind Daisy barking at people Daisy stop barking at people either way thank you again for watching if you're new to the channel and like to see more random crazy videos just like this please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video and believe me it's random with that said folks I must now bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.